What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC25 video where we are getting the Ballon d'Or event tomorrow. It starts, it says actually, in 13 hours and 56 minutes, which is a really weird time to start because that's as Foot Champs begins. Um, I don't know what to expect from this Ballon d'Or event, but I have seen some of the league players and we're literally getting like 97 rated cards. I'm going to show you those guys uh, those cards um, shortly. They are going to be loans, but I still think it's worthwhile looking at them. And let's see what EA have given us today. And guys, of course, if you're enjoying the content, it would be very much appreciated if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and uh, let me know down below how you're enjoying your experience on FC25 right now. We do have new weekly objectives. Just your standard stuff for some SP. Uh, we don't mind it. Um, Nuno Tavares and Eva Arena only in F... Uh, uh, sorry, live. Uh, nothing new there or there. And then in this one here, nothing new either. Interestingly, guys, actually, before we get out of objectives, EA refreshed the Foundations objectives, these ones here. I, had, I hadn't completed them on this account, but I had completed them on my Road to Glory, and they refreshed them. It's worth going and doing them, because even though it's only like nominal packs and whatnot, it's really easy to get them done. Some of them you'll just do accidentally anyway. And you actually get a Hunter and a Shadow, which is obviously about like 8,000 coins worth of M styles there, which is just really, really nice and really, really simple to do. So go and get those done. The cheap, safe and fast FC25 coins go to U4GM. They have over 8,000 comments on Trustpilot with a 4.6 rating. And to get 5% off your order, use code NEP at checkout. Check out the link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. With that, guys, let's have a look. If we have any new evolutions today, starting with those cosmetics uh, and exclusives. And uh, it was a unanimous thumbs down from you guys in the comments yesterday. I asked you guys, are you going to spend a 25k on this? Some people were like, they're not even spending a 10k on the uh, Trailblazers one. If Arsenal had a Trailblazer, I would put it on them, right? I just would. Um, I really like it. Like one of, the thing, one of the things that's interesting though, actually, is let's say you packed a tradable Trailblazer. Then you spent 10,000 coins putting a cosmetic on them. Not only do you lose the 10k, but you also lose the tradability of the card. They become an untradeable. But also, if you then further Evo them somewhere else down the line, you lose a cosmetic as well. I mean, it's, it's evil from EA, but it's smart at the same time. Um, but no, there's no new Evos here. And, and people, were just, people aren't doing this uh, Team of the Week one. But I, like, listen, I like it. I like it. I, I think, like, you know, I like the whole shine and glimmer on it and stuff. I think it's just too expensive. Um, let's see, see if we have any other evolutions. We haven't had a free bow in ages, and we still don't. I guess tomorrow is when it will come. You know, it's going to be a big day tomorrow by the looks of things. But I guess tomorrow is when it's going to come. And so that leaves SBCs for today. Now it's Thursday. So other than marquee matchups, it's very potential, very potential, very possible that there is nothing here. That's my favourites. Um, we have got for players. I don't know. Like they're, they're doing a really weird order sometimes. So I don't. Ooh. Moments Robertson. 5 foot 10, 3 star, 3 star. That's a decent card. Whip pass plus, jockey, relentless, rapid, and slide tackle. Wing back plus plus, full back, and a wing back plus. Sorry, attacking wing back plus. What's the moment for? His impressive season start for Liverpool in the 23-24 season. What a weird moments to give. If you're going to give someone like... like I, I get it, right? If you're a Liverpool fan, you're probably well gassed about this. Maybe he fits into another Evo right now. Maybe he fits into an Evo down the line and you can upgrade a Robertson and get him really good. You're probably, you're probably happy if you're a Liverpool fan. But because of Brilliant Pompastor, it kind of makes left-back cards a little bit moot at the moment. However... What a, what a random moment to give someone a card for to the point where it's like, why don't we have a moments tab? You know, you, in, instead of going to players, go to players and then drop it down and have another set of tabs of options. You can have a tab for player of the months, a tab for showdowns, um, a tab for like what the foundation cards, a tab for moments, because we've also got this Jurassic moment, a tab for whatever the promo is, players, and anything else that EA want to do. And at that point, you can have loads of different moments then and just be like, yeah, we're just going to give a, you know, a moments card every other day for a random player for a random moment. Now, it's five squads 
an 81 with an inform, an 82 with an inform, an 83, an 84, and an 85. I don't think that's terrible, given the fact that he's there for two weeks. You know, the 85 is a bit meh. The 84 is nice and easy. You'll accumulate those 84s over the course of two weeks, no problem. The 83s and below, we no problem. The informs might be a problem. The 85 is a bit bit of a spenny one. But overall, this is a nice card. And an anchor chem style on him is going to be a really nice card. So I don't, I don't mind that a lot. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind it. I don't think it's like great value either. But I don't think it's like terrible or anything. Um, in terms of other content we've got today... The base hero upgrade is back again. This is just an 85 and an 86, right? Yeah, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. I'm going to do this. I'll be right back. All right, that's the hero pack completed for us. It's re-upped again. It's nice, man. It's it's like an open hero, which is just really good. Um, what else do we have? Nothing there otherwise. And then in terms of challenges, of course, we do have the brand new marquee matchups. For a rare election players pack, it's Benfica versus Porto, Nice versus Lille, Lombardia against Napoli. And uh, Liverpool against Villa. Uh, gives you a small red gold players pack, prime election players pack, small prime gold players pack, and a mixed players pack. These are probably the best packs we've had in marquee matchups for a while. The overall pack isn't so great, but those packs aren't too bad whatsoever. Um, so, uh, yeah, as always, guys, go and do your marquee matchups, but make sure you only use untradables in there because you are getting tradable rewards back. Now, we get a jumbo gold pack from completing the 86 rated squad. Um, nothing of any value there for me, unfortunately. And then we've also got the uh, small Electrum Players pack in here as well. Nothing of value in there for me either, unfortunately. I am going to build that 84 double today, um, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow because, as I say, I don't know what's coming tomorrow. Well, we know some of what's coming tomorrow, but we don't know how the system is going to work, how, how it's all going to work from what EA are going to give us. So we'll take a look at that uh, just in a moment here. Um... My preview pack is real bad, but my base hero pack. Let me know down below what you got in your base hero pack. Centre back, Argentina, La Liga, Mascherano. Has to be, doesn't it? I think that's just a bit dead, isn't it? 88 Mascherano. Yeah, he's one of the worst ones that you can get. Got really good defending, good physical. That is a dirty card for somebody who was very good. I know he's got CDM, but his passing, his vision specifically, is poor. That is that. That's just a, a tough. That's a brutal card for a, a player that was very good. Anyway, let's have a little look on FUT Bin. Good old Foot Bin. We love them um, on these new SBCs, guys. Andrew Robertson. Yeah, it's it's mostly downvoted, but it's not alarmingly downvoted um i also think again the the price here it's way less than that like when we're looking at an 81 rated squad with an inform you're looking at about seventeen thousand coins not 30k when you're looking at an 82 with a play 82 rated squad with an inform you're also looking at about seventeen thousand coins so you're looking at about 34k between the two of them an 83 with no inform is about 10k so you're looking at like 44 between those three, whereas this has got it down at like nearly 100,000. An 84 rated squad is like, what, about 30, yeah, about 30,000 right now, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, 27,000. I actually think the 84 rated squad is probably right. And then the 85 rated squad is probably a bit close to right. So I actually think this is coming in about 120,000-ish. Not that you'd spend coins on it, but again, like what I would expect is you have an 81, 82, and 83 rated squad in your club. From just all of the amount of fodder that you get from just playing the game. Um, you might need to facilitate the informs one way or other. So it's only really going to be an 84 and an 85 rated squad um, that you need to do. I think if you're not a Liverpool fan, you're not going to be like overly blown by this. What, what Robertson offers that's very good is for the Premier League, he's one of the best left backs. Drow Cancelo obviously isn't there. Uh, Carragher's terrible. Dallow's well expensive. Kirkez is decent. Um, Gavardiol's not the play. Robinson at 97k kind of indicates what Robertson is kind of like. Um, but there's, there is a shortage of quality left backs in the Premier League. Unless you have used the brilliant Bon Pastor um, 
on like a U doggy or something. So if we go to players evolved and then go to uh, Premier League here, now all of a sudden it's like, okay, you might have some really cool players like that. Caddy is very good. Alex Moreno's decent. Obviously, ex Liverpool. Um, Joe Gomez is. His defending and physical is pretty poor. I've got a really good um, 86 rated Calafiori uh, that I used. So, but Robertson's a decent option there. In terms of Liverpool, they've already got a lot of promo cards. Like, forget the the women. In terms of the men, you've got that Diaz one, although mad expensive. Trent, although mad expensive. Salah and Van Dyke mad expensive. Jota mad expensive. But so many people have Van Dyke and Salah as regular gold players in their team, I can now see people running Allison, Van Dyke, Robertson, Salah as a four. They get full chemistry. And then before you know it, you can just run whoever else you want. And you've got three or four insane players in your squad. So I do think people are going to be very, very happy with that, this card, especially if you run Liverpool players or are a Liverpool fan. The upgrade he got, eight pace, 10 strength, Decent uh, defending upgrade, five agility and uh, six balance, and a decent passing upgrade. For me, there's only one one chem style for him, and it's going to be the anchor. Uh, it gives him good pace, good defending, good physicals, good passing, good dribbling. I do think this is a sort of card though that will be outdated like very quickly. But I also think this is a sort of card that because it's so well balanced, one Evo that gives it like a plus three or a plus four, even if it's in like a month or three's time will turn this card into like a legitimate card. So uh, I do think it's quite good. And then when it comes to Scotland as well, obviously there's not a whole host of uh, quality Scottish players, but if you are Scottish and you're running a Scotland Evo account or something of the sorts, this Robertson's a really good option for you. So it's not too bad. Now then, guys, when it comes to the Ballon d'Or event tomorrow, we have seen some of the official stats and the leaked cards. It is confirmed already that these will only be loans. I don't know how it will work. I don't know how we will accumulate them. But apparently, from what we know, you will complete. You will get these loan players to complete objectives to get other packs and rewards. The fact that this event starts when champs starts is really interesting because it means you're going to see these cards in champs. We've already got a guaranteed Laminia Mal 95 rated technical plus with insane stats. I don't, I don't know how, I haven't fully processed yet whether or not I really like this or really hate this or if I'm somewhere in between. My first thought is I really like this because they're going to be timed loans like these global loans so you'll get to use them and then they'll just disappear from the game. So it's like, you know, for however long this promo lasts for is however long it will like break the game. But also like, I don't think there's a problem giving the Ballon d'Or players Ballon d'Or cards now instead of in January because these cards will fall out of favour. And I know that sounds crazy, but the power curve has changed. The power curve five years ago, even three years ago, was about stats and rating because we didn't have roles and we didn't have play styles. But three years ago when EA introduced roles and play styles, it changed. And all of a sudden, you would have someone like this Lamine Yamal, right? Imagine a 95 Yamal with technical plus in these stats, but then let's say a, a team of the year, right? But then let's say in February, EA released the second playstyle pluses on cards and more role pluses or plus pluses, and a 92 rated player of the month Lamine Yamal comes out that has finesse shot plus and relentless plus. All of a sudden, this sort of card would be dead because... For me personally, especially with the experiments I've done recently with some squad builders, we did, I did a Tiki Taka squad builder, I did a Roll Plus Plus squad builder. For me personally, roles and play styles are far more valuable than stats. Not to suggest that stats aren't valuable, but for example, I would rather somebody have 90 shooting with Finesse Shot Plus than 99 shooting with Finesse Shot Regular. I would rather have somebody have technical and quick step and rapid with 90 dribbling than um just quick step and nothing else with 99 dribbling right like there, there there is like there is a line in the sand where the stats become valuable as well and i think it's like mid to low 80s with a like basically like mid 80s with a play style plus or a very good play style for me is better than like mid 90s or in this case some of the low 90s with no play style 
not saying that Yamal doesn't have certain play styles because we don't know. But that's why I think like I don't mind these cards because a lot of people are saying, oh, EA have already ruined the game, like end game cards in November. Well, first of all, they're not going to be in the game the whole time. But also, like I say, this they're not going to compete with four play style plus players. They're not going to compete with five star, five star players or players with high composure. Like they're just not. However, we're getting a 97 Itana Bon Matty with technical plus as well and ridiculous stats and a 97 Rodri with Anticipate Plus. Um, these are official stats, by the way. Massive pace boost, insane stats. And yeah, I just I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because on the other hand, like I say, I don't know if I completely love this or completely hate this because on the other hand, what if the way it works is you get a random lone player pick and you have to pick one player and you end up getting like the dog players and somebody else gets the insane players. And so you're running around in foot champs with like, I don't know, a goalkeeper or something. Um, and I'm running or like maybe even like, what? who would you prefer? Like Saliba or Mbappe? Saliba or Yamal? Now, Saliba's going to be a beast and like my Arsenal Evo RTG, I want him in my team for however long we get him for. But, I would much like in terms of an actual impact in the game, a Bellingham and a Mbappe, a Yamal would be way, way, way more powerful. Um, we did also see, yeah, here we go, a Vinicius Jr. For example, I'd rather Vinicius Jr. than um, uh, a defender. But that's not to say that Vinny J will be more impactful, I suppose, because they're all going to be like so head and shoulders above every other card in the game. That Vinny J looks ridiculous, insane pace and dribbling, very good shooting and passing and good physicals. And uh, we already looked at Rodri, Yamal and Bomati, but I did see an Erling Haaland. I don't know where he is now. We've also got the full Centurions team. These are stats of predictions, but there's a full Centurions team there, also including Rodri and Hansen, uh, which is interesting because they're both uh, these Ballon d'Or cards. Um... Yeah, that's it. I, I don't see any more uh, Ballon d'Or stuff here. I did see an Erling Haaland before, but it might not have been official stats. So that's what's coming, guys. This Ballon d'Or ceremony promo is coming. It is going to be loans only. I haven't got a clue how it's going to work beyond that, but I'm quite excited for it. I'm quite excited for it because I actually think it's a sort of thing that could inject life into the game for a short period of time then these cards disappear and it goes back to normal. And then EA can do a similar theme promo like three, four weeks later where we get another mass set of massively boosted cards for a short period of time. And I think it, I actually think it could be fun. However, like with everything with EA, the execution has to be good. EA's ideas are always very good. Moments, rush, draft, SBCs. But the executions are not always very good. And so I'm excited to see what they actually do with that. So that is going to be the end of the video for today, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.